Have you ever seen a fighter that looks like it borrowed ideas from a stealth bomber, a tailless drone, and a classic Delta Wing all at once? Today, we may have our clearest look yet at Shenyang Aircraft Corporation's mysterious JXDS, unofficially called the J-50. And these new photos, if genuine, show two-engine, two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles and a host of details that could rewrite how we think about China's next-generation air combat designs. The JXDS first surfaced in public imagery alongside other sixth-generation concepts late in 2024. But until now, most pictures were limited to undersides and silhouettes. The fresh side and rear images circulating online give us a much better look. A tailless, single-pilot platform with a very long, diamond-shaped nose, trapezoidal intakes with what appears to be a diverterless supersonic inlet arrangement, and a chin-mounted electro-optical targeting system enclosure. Analysts are calling this the clearest commercial glimpse of the platform to date. The standout detail is the pair of nozzles fitted with what appears to be two-dimensional thrust vectoring, meaning the engines can deflect thrust in at least the pitch plane to help control pitch and enhance maneuverability. The rear housings show fine serrated edges around the exhausts, a common stealth feature to manage radar and infrared signatures, and the nozzles on different airframes appear to differ suggesting at least two distinct prototypes or test articles. That distinction matters because it tells us the program may be testing multiple engine or nozzle concepts in parallel. The images also resolve the crew question. The cockpit looks configured for a single pilot. Under the nose is a visible electro-optical targeting system, which implies a conventional optical and infrared targeting and sensor capability in addition to whatever internal sensor fusion the platform may carry. Along the fuselage spine, there are small bulges and apertures that could be auxiliary inlet doors, distributed sensor apertures, or housings for a distributed aperture system for spherical situational awareness. But their exact function remains speculative from photos alone. Another distinctive feature is the swiveling wingtip control surfaces. On a tailless design, these would be crucial for maintaining directional control and stability, especially at slow speeds or during high angle of attack maneuvers. The intake geometry appears trapezoidal and observers note a diverterless supersonic inlet-like arrangement, which would simplify the boundary layer management compared with complex boundary layer diverters. Some earlier images had shown an air data boom on the nose. The newest photos lack that boom, which could mean this is a later flight test article with the boom removed, or simply a different prototype used for alternate test points. Either way, intake design, canopy blending, and the exceptionally long blended nose all point toward a strong emphasis on low observable shaping and internal carriage of weapons and sensors. A tailless layout intrinsically reduces vertical surfaces that commonly reflect radar, so the overall radar cross-section is likely to be lower than conventional designs with vertical tails, assuming surface treatment, panel fit, and internal carriage are executed to high standards. The long blended nose and serrated exhaust housings also align with low observable design techniques. That said, stealth is holistic. Intakes, seams, materials, and mission systems integration all determine actual detectability, and photos can't tell us about radar-absorbent materials or internal systems. Noticing different nozzle shapes across images suggests parallel testing of engine or nozzle variants, which is common during development. The presence of thrust vectoring and the absence of an air data boom in some airframes hint that the program has moved past the earliest sensor-instrumented flights into more advanced trials. Whether these are technology demonstrators or production representative prototypes is still unclear, but the pace of observable testing over the past months indicates rapid iteration and a multi-frame test approach. If the JXDS proves real and matures into an operational aircraft, it would represent a heavy, long-range, low-observable addition to the People's Liberation Army Air Force arsenal, designed for air dominance, long-range strike, and sensor shooter integration. Its design suggests emphasis on internal sensors, advanced electro-optical capability, and aerodynamic control tailored to a tailless planform, making it suitable as a high-end manned node in a broader manned-unmanned teaming architecture. That said, capability claims must be tempered by the reality that photos show shape, 
not system's performance or integration with electronic warfare, sensor networks, or weapons. Images circulating online can sometimes be manipulated or misattributed, and open source analysts rightly treat this evidence as unconfirmed until corroborated by multiple independent images, telemetry, or official confirmation. That said, these photos align closely with prior sightings and known design cues. Until we see official data or flight test records, the prudent position is to treat these images as an important but not definitive data point. Watch for corroborating images from multiple vantage points, spotting of distinctive serial numbers or airfield context that ties the airframes to a known production site and any official acknowledgement. If subsequent sightings show internal weapons bays, mission avionics apertures or carrier style servicing, we'll be closer to understanding whether JXDS is a technology demonstrator or a near production sixth generation platform. For now, these photos are a rare and intriguing peek behind the curtain one that veteran observers will scrutinize for months to come.